people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful kit that I got from Let's Resin, that jewelry kit. That is amazing. The only thing it's missing are a pair of pliers. They could put a little wee pair of pliers in there and then you would have everything. And that's why I didn't mix other things. I had some comments about putting black with the the chameleon powder and stuff but my goal when i did that video was to only use what was in the kit and you can make everything which is amazing so you can expand but i just thought i'd show you the basics which is kind of cool now while i was at my trailer i don't know um steve mcdonald is a bad influence because i tell you um i bought a flower drying kit for the microwave I purchased <laughs> the silica gel <laughs> too funny so I did some um, I was wanting because my flowers are so beautiful at the trailer I was wanting to dry some of them and possibly put them in my resin so I'm gonna show you what I did I will do a video um, at my trailer I'll do another video on this and also the microwave one because those were the little ones I used in that mold that I did with the um, turning it into a holographic. Those flowers I dried in the microwave seconds. Craziness. So I'm going to show you these flowers. I am so impressed with myself because I never thought I could do something like this. So now I'm going to have to go to the actual florist. I'm going to bring you up just a little bit the actual florist and purchase some beautiful flowers so I could play. Look at this. I'm afraid to put it in the resin though. I gotta get it so I can hold it without wrecking it. Like, look at this. Is that not amazing? Those are those beautiful flowers. And then I, I also dried the little bit of a stem so that when it's in the resin, I could put the stem so it looks like it's standing up. Oh my goodness, Steve and Tish, you guys are a bad influence because I keep seeing things that you're doing. And this is the same kind of flower. Here, I'm going to bring it down just to show you these flowers so I'm not trying to... Here, maybe a little bit more. There, look at that. Is that not beautiful? So I don't know how they'll react in the resin. Like, they're dry. But I don't want to lose them. And oh my goodness, guys. My daughter was up on the weekend and we did a whole new batch. Look at this. It's a fuchsia. Look at how it dried. Like... Is that not, here, let me get something that's clear. Is that not amazing? Like, look at that. So I did six more of those. So I want to do them in the, here, here's another type of flower. I wanted to do them in like a pyramid. So we'll see. Now this one, I might have dried too much because the, the colors of the flower turned. It was kind of hard to tell. Oh, this one isn't microwave. Oh my goodness. No, this was just in the silica gel. So that's the way it goes, I guess. Sometimes the flowers turn a different color. And then I've got this one. It's the same as that one, but the colors are a little bit brighter. But the outer petals... Like, look at that. I am just... I'm amazed. I'm amazed. And then look at these little ones. Oh, sorry, guys. These little ones here. I'm just ecstatic. So I'm going to attempt to do something. I may do a little testy on one that's not the best just to see what it'll look like in resin. But I I was really impressed with myself. I was uh, like these ones are just so pretty. Like they're just so pretty. And I'd hate to ruin it putting it in the resin because like, like I said, sometimes the colors will change. Sometimes they'll go transparent so you can't see them. So, any hoodles. So today, let me bring you back up. 
So today we are going to play around on a canvas. I have mixed up two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven different paint colors. And we are going to be doing it on a 10 by 20 canvas. I've got it taped, push pinned. So you know what? We're just going to get into it. I'm going to bring you right straight on down. There's going to be no pausing, my friends. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to just splatter paint. I've done this before, but I'm not sure if I did a video. Um, I'm just going to splatter some paint. I'm moving all my little 10 cups so I've got room to put my canvas. I'm just going to do um, base coat at white. Let me bring you down. There we go. I'm going to flip you up so I can see all of these amazing colors. Get some stuff out of my road. We'll put these in front because there we go. And then I'll bring the colors this way and this way. I'm using mostly those new Arteza colors that I purchased, the metallic colors. There, let's look at that and not knock anything over. Bring it up a little bit so you can, there you go. Perfect. So my mission is I'm going to throw my Floetrol and watered Dutch pour mix on my canvas, do it a base coat. So here we go. You're slowly falling. Hello, you're falling. I just took my camera from the trailer and let me just see if this is the button. No, where's the button? Is it this button? That's the button. There we go. <laughs> I moved the buttons around. So, so anyways, we're just going to base coat this. Here, let me just take this right off. And then we'll go through the paints once I get this uh, base coated. I don't want a whole lot on it. I just want it covered. Because I don't want the paints to sink into it, right? So I'm going to, here, remove these all again to the side. <laughs> this is so funny. You're so used to work in one way. And I'm going to blow dry these off. Bring you up there. So I'm working better. So I'm just going to use my blow dryer, blow it all off, just like I would a Dutch pour, using my Drew Barrymore. Thank you, Sandra. Drew Barrymore dryer, obviously. I need more paint. Like I said, I just here I'm gonna I'm gonna dunk. This is all I have left of my white. I need to get more flow trawl. And here in Canada it's hard to get the flow trawl. They don't sell it in the hardware store. At least when I when I first initially went looking for it. But you can here I'm gonna take my sweater off. You can purchase it at um a paint store. And if you use your um, CAA card, you can get a bottle of it. Last time I bought it was like $24. All right, we're just going to do this. My amazing OXO omelet spatula. See, watching all these people, Priscilla from, I think it's Expression Art Studio. This is where I got that from many moons ago. It's nice to watch pe other people get ideas, always elaborate, but you can get your ideas, guys, and fly with it. I get annoyed when people accuse people of copying, but there's so many things out there, guys, that you... But there's no need for that, right? No need. If I know I try to give a shout out to the people, Sometimes you just get busy and I forget where I see things sometimes. Not on purpose. Okay, I'm going to just do a little bit where I see here 
And then I'm going to get my blow dryer. Because like I said, I don't want a big puddle of paint. This is not like my Dutch pour. I do not want a big puddle of paint. Because I don't want it. I'm not going to blow. I'm just splatting paint on here. So let me just get this off here. is a coat just enough so that there's paint there I'm just gonna try and make sure the edges are good and yes we haven't even started and I have a bug and I don't mean my husband because he's at the trailer <laughs> I love you Robert oh my goodness I'm gonna get a bunch of different little tools here I'm gonna use some of these skewers some of these skewers, I'm sorry, these bigger skewers. I'm just going to get that. We're going to have to have a funeral for the bug. There we go. Where is it? Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go through my colors. We'll try and do this very quickly. I'm not going to point them out here, but I'm just going to go through them. I had mixed up here some of and it's it's quite thick it's not like my dutch pour it's a little bit thicker so this is the um Cabrio studio this one is B dark ultra me rum ultra marine blue this one is my favorite the iridescent green yellow and then what i did was i mixed up this purple from arteza and i watered it too much guys so i added some of my Pebbleo Studios. This one is the iridescent violet blue. So these two are mixed together in this pretty color. So they're both iridescent, right? See how thick that is? Okay, so that's that color. Then I used all of these. So we have 11. So I used, these are all the um, Arteza that I got. So we have gold i gotta guess so you can read it we have gold we have canary yellow we have the royal purple we have the pearl lime green we have the pearl electric blue we have silver we have pearl pink tulip and then we have papaya orange so these are all in that new kit that i bought and then i also have this amsterdam this one is permanent green deep because i wanted like a darker so what i'm going to do i'm going to move this out of my way i am just going to splat paint all over the canvas and i can still see remnants of that little bug and there's a hair and another hair what in the heck? I need to be in a bubble. I need one of those, like a quarantine room where it's all vacuum sealed and nothing gets in. I'm just gonna put a little, cause I think that's just a dot of no paint. Now that I, let's just splatter it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is splatter all over the canvas. And then I'm gonna strategically take my skewer and kind of drag it through like that and they come out looking kind of like flowers so this is the purple there's gonna be just dots everywhere no rhyme no reason splat probably could have been a little bit thinner and then we'll do some silver You want it to kind of keep it in the center part because you're going to drag it through. Now I might come back with other colors. And 
this might not work. I, I'm not sure if I, I've done this before, but I'm not sure if I did a video on it. And then you can layer some on top of each other so that when you drag it through, you get a couple of colors. And then yellow. I kind of want it to be colorful. That's why I was mixing up so many colors. Try and get some on top of that. So when we drag it through, there'll be multicolored little flowers. This is kind of why you want it to be a little thick, but not as thick thin as the Dutch pour. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. So I put my colors I'm using up there. So let's do the green. And then we can come back with the green and possibly make maybe leaves. Messy Marvin, my kind of artistry, being messy. This is gold. Again, no rhyme, no reason. some of these I might add a little bit more water to this one this is all I <laughs> you wonder why look at that I tell you guys it's almost like I got a something not alive down here I was gonna say a dead body or something hidden in the corner so all I did was I mixed when I mixed it I used about a drop a pea size of the paint and then I did um, that one, that one. I did a piece, a piece size of the paint. Sorry, I keep losing what I'm saying. My apologies, guys. You know, I'm 55 now, so I'm getting old. Bear with me. Pea size, and then I just added some of the Floetrol, double the, the amount that I put in. And then I added a little bit of my water to thin it out. That's what I was trying to spit out. There we go. And then we'll do some more of this other blue. This might not look nice, but I think if it, if, in my brain, if it works, like I said, I've done this before, but I strategically squeezed it out of a bottle. And the orange, I might add a little bit more water to that one. Just a little. Remember, you don't want to add a whole bunch. That's what happened when I did the when I was trying the Amsterdam, the Arteza, sorry, when I was doing the purple, I poured water and oh my goodness, I put too much water. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness, I want to put it on there. And this is why I didn't want the too much paint on that canvas. And then we're going to come in with my, and it's too thick again, like it doesn't even want to really come off that, so I'm going to pour a little more water. And they've been sitting, whoa, I might have put too much in there. Only thing is that Peblio is quite thick paint, so I think I should be good. And as you mix them up and, you, and they sit, they, they thicken up, right? So there we go. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to torch the paint. 
we'll do that. Mind you, I'm not really going for cells, but I want to make sure there's no bubbles. The odd one, we'll put them together. Come on, come to mama. And then this, did we do this green? Like I don't know my strength, I broke my... <laughs> no, I don't think we did. Actually, yeah, we did. All right, I wanna come back in with some more of these darker colors. I'm a bright color Kurt person and none of these colors are just popping, are they? They're some of this darker green. And again, I might come back in with that green and drag it through. Okay. Now, where do I start? Oh my goodness, already. I'm a little nervous, guys. So I'm gonna try and grab a couple of different things that I can drag through. I have all my paint brushes, my silicone brushes, and I've got the skewer. So let's see what works first. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna try something else. That's not thick enough. Let's try. Oh. I got all these ones and the one I want is, oh, here we go. We're gonna try this one. It's just like a paintbrush. Pretty cool. Actually, let's put that is yellow. Let's put another color on that one. Just to just something different guys like I again like I said I get tired of doing the the same thing over and over just try to break up some of those big splotchy there's no rhyme nor reason there we go like I said there's just no rhyme or reason just if you like that big one there, leave it. This one's got a little bit of a drag to it. I'm gonna maybe take my end of my stick, dip it in the paint, and then come in and do this. And you don't have to drag the same one all the way down, which is kind of cool. I think it just looks actually pretty sweet. No rhyme, no reason. Just have fun with it. And if you're enjoying just the big, a big block, I don't know, this looks like I've got a tail. So let's put some of this nice blue on my stick. And carry it on down. Oh, 
I'll do this pinky and the orange and the gold. They look like little hearts. They're too cute because I heart you. <laughs> Any of the ones that look deformed, you can play around with them. Bring the white into it. Oh, I like that. Oh, let's try that here. <gasps> look at that. You can make look little little antennas going into your flower. might do that again. Let's do that. Did it come purple? Awesome! I like that idea. Too much on that one, but let's go. Just to break it up. And don't go over too much because then you're going to get muddy. You don't want it to go muddy on you. Let's just too much on there. So let's go like that. And any of them that look funky, like this guy looks a little funky. Let's go on the side. Darker green. It's kind of awkward to do it the way I'm doing it because I'm doing it from the side. Some of them look like little there we go. I think that's it. I might put a I might run some of this. No, I, I'm not gonna no, I think I'm gonna leave it. I was thinking doing some of the green and but I'm gonna leave it I think that's it I actually really like this you could do to me these turned out really pastel -y. I don't I don't know but I, I'm more of a vibrant girl you know that guys so I'm gonna just take my torch because I don't want oh, let's just see what I can do with this guy I do not want cells let me some of that blue thing. I don't want cells so I want to torch just to get the bubbles out. I goofed that up. And I got something here. What is that? It's probably a bug. A piece of glass. How? Go! Right here. Let's just run through that one. Just any of them that you don't like the look of. There you go. I'm impressed. It turned out exactly how I was thinking. Do I put... No. I was going to maybe put something in that one, but no, we're going to leave it. Leave it as in. So what I'm going to do, put you on pause. I'm going to bring you on down and I'm going to turn it the right way and I'm going to get you a close up. I'll be right back guys. There you go. I think it turned out really cute. Like look at all of the, they look like little flowers. Again, I personally would do this again with bolder colors. I like the idea with the little you know, the little, looks like the little stamens, what do they call them? In the flowers. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, it will be dry by the time I'm done, so I'm going to put it at the end of the video. 
but I'll go through my spiel now. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing, joining my YouTube family. I would love that very much. And hit that bell up there for notifications for when I have put up my next video. And give it a share if you enjoy what you see. So with that, I've linked everything I've used today. All 11 colors of paint. <laughs> Crazy. And also... In the description box, I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the link to where to purchase um, Julie Cuts also molds, which are amazing. Um, check out her website. It's eBay. I think it's in the, in the links, always in my description box. Also, I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to let's resin with a discount code of sherry m10 capital s capital m i also have the links to crystal resin with my new discount code it is sherry molten 5 capital s i also have my two amazing lores distributors i have michelle from artworks resin canada my canadian distributor i also have lots she has lots of other things Go check out her website. Use my discount code of Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And last but not least, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner. I would love to thank her. Sorry, go check out her website. And she's got more Lorez stuff as well. Then Lorez, oh my goodness, I'm fumbling. I apologize, guys. And I'm sorry, Laura. My uh, discount code for Laura's all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. Also, I have my PayPal link in there if you choose to donate. And I also am an Amazon affiliate, so my links are in there as well. So with that long-winded exit, don't leave me because I'm going to put a dry results. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye. There you go, guys. That turned out amazing. I'm in love with this. Look. It is shiny. There's a couple little spots where it's a little bit damp, but I am in love with this. Well, there you go, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.